Congress. Now, the newly elected U.S. Senate candidates are already swapping blows. Yeah, Josh Hawley, fresh off his victory last night in the GOP race, is challenging Democrat Claire McCaskill to a debate in what he calls the Lincoln Douglas style. And today, McCaskill is firing back. Color 10's Colin Lingo has heard from both sides now over the past 24 hours, hearing from McCaskill, in fact, just a couple of hours ago. Colin, what was her reaction? Well, David, her first priority today was actually to address her opposition to Trump administration tariffs. She was in Springfield meeting with local farmers. But during the Q&A portion of our meeting with the senator, things quickly turned to comments about Holly's invite to debate. Listen, I'm, you know, I think there's a little bit of political stunt involved in, in, in some of the stuff he's doing. Less than 24 hours after being called to debate by her opponent, Josh Hawley, Missouri's Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill fired back. I don't know how many times you deliver a speech about a flatbed truck with a teleprompter. That flatbed truck reference traces back to the first moments of Hawley's victory <laughs> in Tuesday night's Republican primary. No moderator. No complicated rules, no TV studio, just the two of us debating in the best traditions of our country, like Lincoln and Douglas, but this time on the back of a flatbed truck. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to drag that flatbed truck all over this state to courthouses everywhere. We'll get out, we'll get on the back of the truck, and we'll debate. Just me, just her, no holds barred. That's my challenge. Those direct challenges didn't stop when Holly left the stage. Let the people of Missouri decide this election. They need to hear from us directly. They deserve to hear from us. They deserve to hear from her and have her defend her record that has failed this state for 12 long years. I just got to say, I mean, I think that some of this is him just trying to pivot and not talk about the issues that Missourians really care about. But McCaskill responded today saying she's not afraid to defend her record and has already done so a number of times. I did 53 town halls and I think 48 of them were in counties that the president won by more than 30 points. So I wasn't exactly going to the parts of the state that are my, would be considered my base. I'd like to do town hall debates because I think questions from Missourians are, are pretty important. It's a stunt. Um, we're going to debate. He knows we're going to debate. And we're going to try to debate in a way that the most po possible people can see it. Now, both McCaskill and Holly won their party's candidacy handily last night. McCaskill would have more than 80% of the vote. Holly would see more than 50% of Republicans vote in his favor. It's because of that overwhelming support that McCaskill says she expects to be a close and heated race. Claire also considers herself, by the way, the underdog in this tight race. All right, Colin, thanks.